Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, a very warm welcome. My name is Beth, I go by the username Be More Creative, and today I am going to be talking about my cross stitch. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending the time with me. I hope you have your stitching ready and you can stitch along as I show you the projects. I firstly just want to say a huge thank you. I mean, I set what I thought was quite a lofty goal. I wanted to reach a thousand subscribers by my birthday, which my birthday is on the 17th of May, so you guys will be seeing this on the 16th, and we did it. I've reached that goal, so as I promised, I do have a giveaway for that, so stay tuned to that. And I just, I can't believe it. It's like, it's one of those things you don't, I don't really count numbers. Um, I know I've set myself a couple of goals, and we've smashed those goals, but that was for me to try and kind of get back into the whole YouTube thing. I took a quite a long break and then in August I started this channel back up again relating to my cross stitch and I cannot believe it and it's been so nice to be welcomed to this community so open armed and really just a big thank you to everyone who has helped me reach that goal. So, um, I I don't even know where to start today. Um, I do apologise if I look a little bit worn, worn for wear. I am filming this once again. It is uh, Saturday the 15th. It is my break time. So I've got to get back to work in uh, just over an hour. I've had early morning departures this morning. Cause some of my students, my year twos have graduated from the school. So they are now um, leaving over the next couple of weeks and it's just a lot of early morning, late nights, um, getting them ready for when they can fly home. So it's it's been a whirlwind of a time. I also had my first vaccination on Wednesday. I didn't have too many bad side effects. I did get quite ill on the Wednesday night, but apart from just feeling very, very tired on Thursday and Friday, I didn't get much stitching done, but I did manage to get a little bit. So, I'm just going to jump straight in. I don't really know if I've said everything I wanted to say. It's going to be one of those videos where I'm sure I will just randomly throw things in and here and there as I go. But this is going to be a one take video. So you're going to see that normally I do edit quite a bit. But hopefully, um, as I don't have a whole lot of time before this video goes up to try and edit it and make it my normal put together self, hopefully you'll forgive me for this and we can get this video rolling. So my favourite thing for the past two weeks has been the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Virtual Stitchers evening. So I managed to book a place on the Wednesday one um, of last week. And it was just so nice. It was the first time that I've ever stitched with people and I was quite nervous. It was over um, Facebook groups. And it was just really nice to kind of stitch along, chat away with people and actually have someone to chat to who is interested in cross stitch. Because I do have my students who are very happy now to be in the stitching group. We sit there and we stitch. But they're still very new to it and they're not interested in actually talking about many designers things like that it's just fun to kind of sit there and stitch with them they'll put a movie on and we just kind of sit and stitch so that's really nice but it was nice to talk to people um who really wanted to interact and talk um about stitching so that was great i'm there was also a quiz in the middle and i won the quiz so it was like a logo quiz i won that one and it meant I got to pick a chart, so I picked Positivity Rules. So if you haven't seen that, I will try and remember to insert a photo here of what Positivity Rules looks like. So that will be something that I will probably work on over the summer. Um, and I think I'm going to do that from a stitch from Stash. So I'm only going to use what I have in Stash and we will work around with that. I also, if everyone who attended 
got a 20% off discount for a couple of hours. So the stitching was from seven till nine. And then from nine till midnight, you got a 20% off um, code. So I went online and I bought a couple of things, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the haul. So I think that was by far my favorite. And it has shown me that I would like to find some more stitching groups out there who are online to stitch with, or if not, I'm considering putting one together myself. The thing is, at the moment, my work life is very busy, so it would have to be a Wednesday or a Thursday evening. Um, so I will look into that, but definitely over the summer, I think I will start a couple of groups up, um, where it will be either on Zoom or Facebook, something like that, just where we can sit, stitch and chat. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know down below and I will make sure to keep you updated as and when I do that because that is not no longer an if, it is a when. I've just got to work out what's happening but as I've got a good six and a half weeks off over the summer, hopefully I will get a lot of time in for stitching and get to um, stitch with some of you guys online if you would like. So what have I been doing? So and I do apologise, there is going to be the word so quite a lot because my mind is completely blank today. I was just about to say so again and now I can't think of another word for it. Anyway, so... <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to edit this all out. Sorry, I'm sorry. Back in, my last video was a couple of days before the end of April, so I had a couple more days to work on something that wasn't related to my um, May stitching. So I went back and looked at my whip go, and I had one whip go on standing, which was to stitch 300 stitches on a Boffy Fred's design. And I only have one design currently in progress, which is the Boffy Fred's Sunshine. Now, I really like the Boffy Fred's kits. I struggle with stitching them. Um, and it's nothing to do with the actual stitching progress. They stitch up really nicely. They're really easy to stitch. I just don't know why I don't reach for it. But then when I reach for them, I really do enjoy it. So my 300 stitches, I managed to get the head done. And look how realistic this looks. So it's just something about the way the Boffy Fred's kits are designed. There is a fair few colour changes in them, but they just look so realistic. It looks so good. So that is my Boffy Fred's sunshine. I've got all of the head down now. I'm now working on to the sunflowers, but this will be one that I pick back up probably in June. And... There goes all of my notes on the floor, just one second. Sorry, so as I was saying before, um, I dropped all of my notes and mobile phone on the floor. Um, Craftivating Creations is talking about doing a sow on Boffy Fred's kits. So if you enjoy the Rendale Boffy Fred's kits, keep a lookout on Craftivating Creations. If you haven't already subscribed, I will leave the link down to her channel um, down below. And I think she said it will be in her next video that she tells us the information. So I don't know whether I will continue stitching this one for it or I will start the Bumblebee one because the Bumblebee one is definitely the one that first drew me um, to them because obviously anything to do with bees, I absolutely love. So, um, Next up is everything I had relating to my May stitching plan. So my month of May, I am focusing on a designer. I'm doing Designer May. And of course, my designer of choice is Autumn Lane Stitchery, who have a ton of different patterns out. I absolutely love their designs. So what I just wanted to do is I picked three projects that are brand new to me that I have not started stitching and one which is an ongoing whip. So my ongoing whip is the one that I really really enjoy stitching. I always seem to go back to this one and this I'm literally just putting in a thread a day. 
So this is my one where on, for instance, a Monday or a Tuesday where I start work really early and I don't finish until 11 p.m. at night. And by 11 p.m. I've come back, got showered, it's looking more like midnight before I have any time to myself. So I've just been putting in one um, thread, which has been really nice because these are kind of chunks of colour. So this is the Autumn Town um, piece. And... I will try if I remember to put a picture up here of where I was and this is where I am so it is still on the Q-snap because I am working on this I did a little bit more on this this morning so last time I had all of this down down here I had the beige in this house here and the trees down here so the side of this house the brown the roof and all of these trees up above is what I have done since my previous video so I really really do love this one I have changed um, my colors um, I've kept with the same color scheme but some of these were Gloriana threads I did not have those in my stash so I've been using DMC sulky and then my roofs you can I'm hoping you can see somewhat I'm not sure with the lighting I do apologize it is a very dark day my roofs are actually different um, Weeks Dye Works. I have Weeks Dye Works Chestnut, Chris's Bonbon and Molasses. Um, and that is just because I had a little bit of each of those left and I just wanted to use them up. So I thought I'd mix match the colours of my roofs and that also gave my town a little bit of um, difference. I think all of the roofs in here were all called for the same thread I just used what I had in stash and I also changed um, the beige color in my house to a sulky so I had a little bit of variegation just a tiny bit just so I could have a little bit of difference and also that is what I had in my stash I didn't have enough of the I believe it was 712 that was called don't quote me on that I could be wrong but I absolutely love how this one's turning out So, sorry if you do hear that noise I'm just literally putting these down on the floor I don't have a professional setup so one of my new starts was the autumn lane may flowers and I did say I was going to be changing this slightly so I'm going to be stitching it the same but I'm not going to have the may in the middle and then originally I was going to stitch this on a large count fabric so I could have it as a project bag but then one of my friends um, little girls saw this and she said can she loves the pattern and she wanted it as a little purse because I made them both last year for this um, for their summer I was doing hand embroidery and I just hand embroidered their names and turned it into a little purse but she would really, really like this pattern and we do call her the birdie, that is her nickname. Um, just because when she wants something she starts tweeting and it made us think of a bird. So that is her nickname and when she saw this she was like, oh, can I have it? So I'm going to be turning this into a little kind of coin purse for her. So this is what I've got. This is a piece of 20 count uh, Belliana. It's probably shrunk a little bit. I did hand dye it myself. And this is how far I have gotten. So I started this one at the start of May. I haven't picked this one up recently. But I've got a majority of the left side flowers done. I still need to do the back stitching. But I decided to do that at the very end. So that one, there is a little bit of a change for that one. I am going to be doing this, um, as I said, as a little purse. So I better get stitching that one. And then, of course, you can't stitch one of them something and not the other. Um, they are um, sisters, but the older one has got a little pouch bag that um, she, to be honest, stole from me. Um... But yeah, so she's enjoying that one, so I have got a little bit of time before I need to work on another one, but I think I might do the same. I might get another monthly one. I've seen the bunny rabbit, um, is it the bunny rabbit in the rain? One of the characters is in the rain. 
I might get that one and stitch it up small and turn that into a little coin purse as well because I believe they're the same size. So my last autumn lane that I've started and this is one that I am really really excited for and it is the Lunar Witch. So I love this pattern and I did say I wanted to try it on a denim jacket. So I'm still a little bit nervous how it's going but I have started it and this one is going to be a bit of a slower stitch because it's a bit more difficult. So I have just attached my waist canvas. I have stitched it on the edges but I didn't stitch it down the middle because I didn't want it to affect my cross stitching. So these pins, um, I have checked, they're not causing any damage to my denim jacket underneath. But they are holding the wham what, the wham the waist canvas um, taut. So that way I can stitch. So I've managed to stitch the house and I'm now just going down and stitching the outline of the witch. This one is one of those ones that I think um, may become my one thread a day projects. Um, I am deciding because I'm really enjoying the autumn town but I want to get this one done however stitching for a long period of time on this doesn't really work because my hands do get quite sore after a little while I am using a sharps needle um, and then my sharps needle I just have put away because I don't want to leave um, that needle on this project and then I just use my embroidery needle to kind of just flatten my threads because I am stitching this just with two strands on a 14 count waist canvas. I was going to do it with three because that's what I normally stitch on 14 count but it was just so bulky and the design is going to be quite big that I was a bit afraid that a bulky design would not work out ideal for this. So I'm just going with what I have, really hoping this turns out. It is quite a big project. I didn't really think how big the design was going to be until I started stitching it and it has taken me basically a day of stitching about six hours of stitching to manage to get all of this done and the outline and that was purely because it was just taking so long to stitch through it that I had to have regular breaks so I probably only stitched on this for about an hour and a half but compared to what I could get done in an hour and a half on a general piece of Ada or even weave, it is a big difference. But I am still loving it. This is something that I will keep um, working at and hopefully I will have the coolest looking demon jacket, which my sisters, if either of you are watching, hands off. Because I have a feeling when this is done, especially my youngest sister, who is the same sizing and clothing as me, will be trying to pinch this. I might not be able to wear it over the summer then. I might have to leave it in the UK just so she can't pinch it. And she knows that I'm... Like, she might not watch this floss tube, but she'll know that this is the one she wants. So then the last piece I worked on is um, not an autumn lane piece but it is my caterpillar cross stitch and it is the mulberry cottage and this was the one that we were stitching on for the virtual stitches. So I started this the evening of the virtual stitches and then I stitched on it that night and a little bit the next day and I managed to get some of the picket fence in and a majority of the light pink in the house so if I just show you on here I have got the doorway pretty much almost finished and the light pink so that is how far I've got and the um, the little pin up here the stitching social also came with this kit um, I have changed the fabric, it did come with a 16 count Ada in green um, and I have just changed it to my January Jodry Designs Frosted Cookies which is absolutely stunning, I just wanted something a little bit smaller um, and also I just loved the hand dyed look of this fabric, it's got green, it's got purple, pink and blue but it is a very subtle one so I thought I could get away with it and I'm really enjoying stitching on that, I'm actually, um, that piece is something that 
I might include into a 3D textile art piece. I have been thinking quite a lot about the textile embroidery. I've done a little bit of that before I started cross stitching, so I was doing it in the summer of 2020 and I absolutely loved it. So I was thinking I might try and do a piece of that again. I've been watching, um, oh, who have I been watching? It's, I wanna say Tilly Rose, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Let me just double check. She's got a Facebook group and every Thursday she does a Thursday Fimble. Um, and she's been doing different techniques relating to 3D, uh, well kind of textile art. So it's Tiddy Rose Vintage is the name of the Facebook group and on there, as I said, the Thursday Fimble, she's been showing us different techniques. So I'm considering using my house for my caterpillar cross stitch because it is going to be a small piece. Um, it's going to be roughly 4 by 4.5 inches, so nice and small. I may use that as the base of my textile work. I'm not in quite sure yet, um, but we'll just wait and see. So, we last week I had a giveaway for my 900 subscribers, which is insane that we have just done a giveaway for 900 subscribers and I'm about to start my 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, after this video I will probably take a break from the giveaways a little bit, but we'll see. Um, so last week we had the Boffy Fred Let Us Be Friends kit and I asked that you all are visual subscribers, subscribe to my channel and that you use the word Boffy. And this one is going to Linda LJX Stitch. So I will put the little um, picture up on the screen here. So Linda, if you can please contact me, the email address is down in the description box. Or even better, if you go over to, if you have Instagram, if you direct message me at Be More Creative on Instagram, I will also link my Instagram handle down below. Give me a shout and I will get this into the post to you, hopefully next week if I hear from you um, early enough, if not it will be the week after. So congratulations once again to Linda LJ X Stitch. Um, I do hope I'm also saying your name correctly, but as I said, it will be on the screen. Give us a shout, congratulations, and this will be on its way to you very, very soon. The next one I had was the Heartstring um, Samplery really friends this was one i purchased two copies of this uh from the black work the black needle society sorry uh this was one of their extras that they had in the vault and this one is going to nicole stitches so once again nicole if you can get hold of me um same as um for linda if you just contact me down below there'll be the email and also my Instagram handle. If you don't hear anything in the email by after 24 hours, just drop me another message. Um, there is a little bit of a slow problem with Gmail, which is what the um, account is for, but I will get back to you and I will put this in the post. So if you just send me your full names, full addresses, um, I will be able to get that sent off to you. So while we're talking about giveaways, I have my 1,000 subscriber giveaway and I have a couple more pieces for you guys. So I have this Jim Shaw Full Angel. Now this was one that I picked up to put in the giveaway box um, in January because it was one of those that I looked at it, I absolutely loved it. Um, I thought about considering stitching it myself but I hate doing beadwork and the first thing you see on the back is a load of beads. So this comes with everything. Um, it has not been opened. The seal is still intact. It's got fabric, the instructions, all of the threads, beads, and the button that you need. So for this one, if you just use the word angel, I have this chart here, which is one of those ones that I ordered three copies of this. I don't know why, I lust, I must have loved the chart that much. Um, but then afterwards I've had a lot of people say that they cannot get hold of this anywhere. 
So this is the Sue Hillis design, Life is What You Bake It. And if you use the word bake, so if you use the word bake. Okay, and that is the chart um, all ready for you to go And that one. And the last one I have is another Rendell Designs kit. So I decided, as I heard Craftivating Creations was doing a sell for Rendell Designs, I thought I would throw this one in the giveaway and then that way you could have, um, if you wanted to take part, a Rendell Designs kit. It will probably get to you after the sale starts. I do apologise about that, my memory card ran out of space. It wouldn't be a video from me if there wasn't some kind of interruption. So this is the Rendell Design Kit and if you use the word Hedgehog. So these are the three giveaways I have today. Um, anyone is able to enter if you are over 18. Please, you must be 18 in order for me to be able to get your physical address because I will need to send these. Um, so please be 18, please be subscribed to my channel, this is a giveaway for my subscribers and make sure it is a visual subscription so that way I can check that you are a, sub sub a subscriber. Please do not use the word giveaway, win, anything relating to that because some people are the type of people that will just type into YouTube and try and search for giveaways and I would much prefer this goes to someone that is supporting my channel um, and would like to enter. If obviously if you have just stumbled across this channel you are more than welcome to enter just make sure you're a subscriber and enjoy. So once again if you would like to win the Jim Shaw Full Angel please use the word angel in your comments. If you would like to win the Sue Hillis Life is What You Bake It chart just use the word bake and if you'd like to win the Rendell um, awakening chart just use the word hedgehog so those are the three giveaways that I have for you guys today um, they are open internationally I will post anywhere in the world obviously international post uh, from the UK is a little bit slow so I will put it in the post but I can't guarantee when it will get to you it is just one of those that sometimes it can take a little while sometimes it can take longer I sent someone a item to the states and it took three and a half weeks to get to them whereas the other person I put it in the post at the same time it's going to the same state in the US and they still don't have it this is after four and a half weeks so I really don't understand what's happening with the post but I will post it international just please consider the fact that obviously I can't guarantee how long it's going to take to get to you but I will post it anywhere in the world as long as you can physically get post I know there's some countries that post is a little bit iffy, so if I can post it, it will go in the post. Um, on to haul. Now, I don't have that much haul to show you, mainly because it hasn't arrived. I have been fairly good this month. Um, I haven't gone over the top. I have bought a couple of the charts because it is my birthday um, on the 17th of May. I have done a little bit of birthday spending and bought some of those charts that have been on my wish list for a little while. I bought most of them from 123 Stitch um, and they haven't come in yet so I'm still waiting for those. It will probably be the next week or two that they come in. I also um, I'm going to be trying a Etsy seller for UK embroidery thread that I would like to try and use for cross stitching so I will be trying that out first and if I like them I will give them a shout out on this YouTube channel. The threads are due in today so hopefully next week we'll be having an Etsy shout out but that is something that um, I also want to start doing so if you know any really good Etsy shops, um, obviously anywhere in the world but UK Etsy shops are the ones that I am trying to focus on then please let me know but I will support um, small businesses wherever they are in the world so let me know and I will definitely check them out because I would like to um, try it at least once a month and do kind of an Etsy shout out that could be for patterns it could be for embroidery thread it could be for anything relating to stitching so just let me know down in the description box um, below which ones you have tried before and we'll give that a try. 
So I have, um, and I'm just trying to remember where I found this from. I do do do. Can't find it. So I have stumbled across the website Create Nostalgia, which is, I believe that's how you say it. I will put it across um, the screen and a link down below down below which is a UK supplier of cross stitch patterns and embroidery and um, thread cross stitching thread and I absolutely love the service now I have bought from them in the past and it's one of those places that I go to if I really can't get hold of something and they normally have it so they're well stocked with weeks dye works um, classic color works I believe they have a variety of different things but when I was on there I was really looking for the block parties and I managed to pick up the block party meow because all of these block parties have been on my wish list for a little while now and um, for my birthday I decided to treat myself to my most wanted uh, four out of the set so I've got Meow that's actually here. I also ordered from her Buzz. Unfortunately, it was out of stock, but she's going to send it to me at the end of the month when it comes in. Um, I then, from 123 Stitch, ordered the Mend one and the Home one. So those are the four that I've got to um, try out at first because I really love the pattern. I'm a little bit worried about the finishing. I'm not sure if I will finish it this way or if I will just frame the small pieces but I really would like to finish it this way. I may even try out, um, there is a UK finisher that has been um, shared quite a bit. I haven't personally tried anything yet, but I think what I might do is stitch this up and send it to her to see how they get on. But I will link the, um, the place that everyone keeps telling me to try it down below. So if you are looking for a finisher, she does finishing of handmade items. So she'll do things like this, stockings, uh, little pillows, little bags, but she also does the pinning. She doesn't do framing, but she will do the pinning. So that way it's all pinned for you, ready for you to put in your frame when she sends it back. So definitely someone to check out. And I'm really sorry, I can't remember her name. That is just going to annoy me big time. But yes, yeah, so that is something I have the other ones coming, but the block parties, um, I really, ever since I got my tear tray, which I have next to me, I've really wanted little 3D items. And when I saw the block parties, I've loved them. But it's always one of those ones where I'm like, do I really need the chart? Do I really need to stitch this? And for my birthday, I just went, sorry, I'm doing it. So I purchased those for my birthday. I'm just waiting for the rest of them to come in. Then, of course, when you get 20% off Caterpillar Cross Stitch items, you, you have to buy things. So because I won the Positivity Rules Cross Stitch chart, I, of course, had to get the needle minder that goes with it. So I've got the Positivity Rules needle minder. I've got the Hedgehog just because I think she is absolutely stunning. And then I ordered Adventure Awaits. So I've got those three needle minders. I also bought the Adventure Awaits pattern. So I will put this up, a photo up here because um, that is a PDF. I decided just to order the PDFs and stitch them from stash. The Adventure Awaits one, I'm trying to work out if I stitch from stash or if I order the actual DMC threads, but I will definitely be doing that on a piece of hand dyed fabric. Um, I'm just not sure which one yet, but I have quite a few in my stash. The last thing from haul I don't have in yet is the, um, the Jodry Designs had their eighth birthday birthday sale where she had pre-cuts of fabric that was already dyed. Um, and you know me and Jodry Designs fabric. I jumped on that. I bought quite a few pieces. So I'm just waiting for those to come in. Unfortunately, um, she was unwell and hopefully, Michelle, you're feeling better. Um, but no rush. Whenever you're feeling better, we're all happy to wait. So because her threads are absolutely amazing. And the great news is you can now purchase hand dyed fabrics from Michelle over at Jodry Designs 
she is back in the market for just selling random fabric and random threads um, you don't have to be subscribed to her um, kits anymore so if you want hand dyed fabrics I would definitely check out Jodry Designs um, because she has some stunning pieces on there you've seen one of my favourite neutrals is her candy floss colour which is a pink but it's a subtle pink so it's quite nice um, if you're looking for a neutral that's not brown or beige or kind of that paley blue green colour I absolutely love the candy floss one um, and the um, and the obviously the frosted cookies that I mentioned before I'm not sure if you can still get this this is a limited edition but in her sale she had a couple of pieces of that so that was stunning so that is what I've got I'm still waiting for my Jodry Designs fabric and thread of the month and my chromatic alchemy one they should both be in by next week so hopefully I floss can tube um, shout out so I wanted to mention crafting Kirsty um, I have been loving watching her progress I believe it's called the garden gate or that's what she's calling it it's a haid and it is absolutely amazing um, I am definitely not brave enough to take on stitching a full coverage haid but seeing her progress it just it really makes me want to try another full coverage I'm just she's it's such she's enabling me so much but yeah it's one of those where I'm like you won't stitch it but I need it because seeing hers it looks absolutely stunning so definitely check out her progress she also has some lovely other pieces on the go as well so I'm really enjoying watching all the different pieces she has and she has um, her quilting section at the end I am in no means a quilter but love seeing all her, of her quilt patterns and in her last video she showed quite a few new quilting patterns especially these ones that kind of look like they were embroidery patterns that you then stitch together like wall hangings so I'm be interesting to seeing how those ones go I also discovered the clumsy stitcher um, I'm really enjoying her her pieces she had a couple of dimension kits um, that she was showing last time which is one of those I never got into the dimension kits but seeing hers they look absolutely stunning once again full coverage um not sure why I'm drawn to full coverage at the moment because full coverage is definitely not my thing it is definitely one of those where you have to have the patience to do it and if I don't start seeing the picture within like a hundred or so stitches I'm like yeah no but yeah no her channel is absolutely amazing I've already mentioned Craftivating Creations keep an eye out for her channel if you haven't subscribed already she has the gorgeous Rendell Designs kit coming up um trying to think who else I have watched this week um I've been catching up on Elizabeth and Can Stitch I've seen so many of her um, videos but I've really been enjoying catching up on hers recently I'm loving watching her progress she is so near to finished on her Blackbird design piece that I just cannot wait to see the framing um, I also watched her video she has finished the meow block party and has put it together and she is the reason that I went yeah for my birthday I need these so I'm blaming Elizabeth Ann can stitch for me going along and buying half of the block parties but I'm so glad she did because they've been on my wish list for some time so if you haven't checked out her out make sure you do subscribe and um, go along and have a look she's also doing a Friday live every every couple of weeks I guess where she's been showing some finishes so those have been really nice to um, catch up and watch if you are interesting uh, interested on finishing she also did these backpacks for her nephews absolutely stunning um, my friends kids keep asking me for them now no way I'm not someone who can make those but yeah they're absolutely stunning nice Pokemon backpacks so that is everyone that I've been watching. Oh, I've also been watching Floss Toss. Um, I really love those ladies and watching their videos has been absolutely amazing. And that sewing machine unboxing. Oh my God, at the featherweight. Watching how 
they were both in love with that machine has made everyone want a featherweight now. I think everybody who watched that was like, oh my god, I want one. Yeah, I want one. And the fact that she kept saying, I want this, I want this, and it just kind of fell into her lap has kind of made me look at things and go, actually, yeah, if you if you want something, it is feasible. So definitely check out their um, their channel. I know they were doing the punch needle um, kind of stitch along. That was really fun to watch. Um, and they have quite a few of the Laurie Holt projects on the go. I have ordered the flea market flowers after seeing their progress on it. Absolutely stunning. So I can't wait for that one to come in. And I will be joining their their um, their sale for that one because that is a lovely project. So if you haven't checked out those lovely ladies, make sure you go and subscribe. And I think we're nearing the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to take part in the giveaways, just check the description box down below for all of the rules. Make sure you put in the words that we mentioned previously. And I wish you all the best of luck for that. So wherever you are, I hope you have a great evening, morning, day, whenever this, um, whenever you are watching this. And happy stitching to you all. Bye guys!